Assalamu alaikum dear students, here I am again, your teacher Taghrid Yaseen. We'll continue our lesson limits and continuity part 2. At the end of this video, you'll be able to find the limit of a function at a given point using substitution method, find the limit of a function at a given point by simplification using factorization method, and find the limit of a function at a given point by simplification using rationalizing method. Before we start, please, be, and to be ready, prepare your, cup, your textbook, your pens, draft papers, your copybook, and your calculator. And before we start, let us make a, a recall about what we have taken. The main thing, how to find the limit of a polynomial function using leading term method and you can remember how to find the limit of a rational function also using leading term method and these are the results now the first property and the main thing when you are uh, going to find or calculate the limit of a given function at a given point that you shall use direct substitution method let us see. Example 1. To calculate each of the following limits below, for example, limits as x tends to 2 of x minus 2 x squared plus 5 exponent 7 by substituting each value of x by 2, we'll get this result which is 2 minus 2 into 2 squared plus 5 exponent 7, then the result is 0. Another example. The limit as x tends to minus 1 of x minus 1, x squared plus 1 exponent 5. Each value of x should be substituted by minus 1. Till we get minus 2 into 32, where the limit is minus 64. Application 1. Calculate each of the following limits. Please pause your video to calculate it alone. Another application. The third one, please pause your video. Don't forget we are substituting by the first uh, step and we'll get, oh, it's zero over zero. It's an indeterminate form. Now, how to solve this problem? To find the limit at a given point, we should follow the, the steps below. First, you don't forget that you shall substitute. Maybe you'll get an answer. Or you'll get an indeterminate form 0 over 0. Don't forget that you have till now four indeterminate forms to solve this problem you have two ways by factorization then simplification and remember how to factorize a second degree polynomial and revise please the remarkable identities the second way by multiplying by the conjugate then simplify the conjugate of a plus b is a minus b and vice versa. Example 2. The limit of 5x over x squared plus 2x as x tends to 0. By substituting first, we'll get 0 over 0, which is indeterminate form. The best way is to factorize x squared plus 2x into x and multiply it by x plus 2, simplify x by x till you get 5 over 2. Another example, the limit of 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 over 7x squared minus 5x minus 2 as x tends to 1. First, by substituting, you'll get 0 over 0. 
Now we have here two second degree equations by factorizing them, then simplifying x minus 1 by x minus 1, you'll get the final result, which is 7 over 9. Also in example 2, the limit of x minus 1 over radical x minus 1 as x tends to 1. By substituting, we'll get 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form. Now, we shall multiply by the conjugate, which is radical x plus 1, the conjugate of radical x minus 1, by multiplying, the, uh, by multiplying radical x minus 1 by radical x plus 1 in the denominator, we'll get x minus 1 into radical x plus 1 over x minus 1 in the denominator, as x tends to 1, simplify please, x minus 1 by x minus 1, till you get the, the limit as x tends to 1 of radical x plus 1, which is 2. Now, my dear students, Farah and Fatima, come to the board and try to solve or to calculate this limit, each one by her way. Please pause your video to think alone, then see how Farah and Fatima did it. Farah wrote at the board the limit as x tends to minus 2 of x squared plus 2x على x squared minus 4 is 0 over 0 which is an indeterminate form. She think by this way she used leading term method. While Fatima she substituted also to get 0 over 0 as an indeterminate 4. Then she factorized the numerator and the denominator till she got x plus 2 as a common. She simplified till she got the result as half. She used factorized then simplify. Which one is it true? Excellent. Farah's way is wrong, while Fatima's way is correct. Application 3. Please, each time, pause the video to calculate it alone. A sum up of our lesson. You know that the limit at infinity, there are some rules, remember them. Don't forget the indeterminate forms and how to find the limit of a function at a given point. Here's your assignment, please, if you miss some details, watch again the video. In the next period, we shall recognize and calculate the limit of a given function at right and at left of a given point. We shall recognize piecewise functions and define continuity of a function, interpreting it graphically. See you soon. Thanks for listening.